Thanks, Puck family. We hope this message finds you and your loved ones safe, healthy, and well during these unprecedented times. We'd like you to know that we miss you. We're thinking of you, and we're planning with you in mind as we prepare for the upcoming school year. My name is Concepcion Rivas, Superintendent of Puck Schools. The purpose for my message today is to provide you with one, our unwavering commitment to our communities and being responsive to the needs of our communities while keeping in mind public health and public education. Secondly, we'd like to provide you with the design, the structures, and the model for the upcoming school year. And lastly, we like to continue to provide you with supports and resources in order for us to remain connected in the coming year. We have proudly served our communities for over 20 years at Puck Schools, and we have done that by listening and supporting the needs of our individual families, students, staff, and schools, and we will continue to do that in the coming year in order to best meet this moment and also have a strong year ahead for our students. I am a firm believer that through the members of the community, the talents, the skills, the insights, the feedback, and also the innovative thinking, we will work together to have a strong year for our students. Our students are counting on all of us, from our kindergartners to our seniors, to make sure that we are creating the structures and the opportunities for relationship building that allow them to have success in the coming school year. We want to support them in their skill building and in finding their passions in order for them to change their dreams in support of the future. I welcome you to the 2020-21 school year and look forward to working together, even if it is from a distance at the start of the year, to make sure that we remain healthy, safe, well, and growing in the coming school year. You will now have a presentation related to our planning and our design, and most importantly, our continued supports for the coming year in order to prepare everybody for success and also continue to work in partnership as communities in order to best meet the needs of our students while keeping in mind public health and our duty to public education. Welcome to 2020-21. At public schools, we would like to assure all of our stakeholders that both public health and public education are the driving forces behind the Puck Schools reopening plan for 2020-21. As the Puck School Superintendent, I would like to further assure our community that as a leader, parent, public school educator, and community member, safety and learning are of equal importance in my leadership and decision-making in support of all of our students, families, employees, and schools. The Puck Schools reopening plan was created in response to both our responsibility to public health as well as our responsibility to public education, given our county's pandemic data and the start of our upcoming school year. This plan will allow us to remain responsible, responsive, and adaptable, driven by data and evidence throughout the coming year in support of the communities we proudly serve and represent throughout Puck Schools. Our reopening plan was designed and created with the core values of safety, equity, critical and creative thinking, flexibility, adaptability, and community in support of all of our stakeholders. Our plan was created in alignment with various governing guidelines for public health and state guidelines for public schools, such as the California State Department of Education's Stronger Together, a guidebook for the safe reopening of California public schools, California State Assembly Bill 77 and Senate Bill 98, Los Angeles County Schools Rising to the Challenge of COVID-19, County of Los Angeles' Public Health, Center for Disease Control and Prevention, and the City of Los Angeles' COVID-19 Threat Level Indicator. Our plan was created from a community-based design. We use the collective voices of our students, families, teachers, staff, and administrators in alignment with county and state guidelines to determine the best approach for reopening in the fall. The Puck Superintendent Task Force and other sub-task forces worked extensively 
to collect and review stakeholder feedback, research and plan with the most current government and health guidelines, regularly monitor pandemic data, reflect on our successes and challenges from last semester, research distance learning models, research hybrid learning models, and further update internal structures based on feedback tied to health, safety, wellness, operations, communications, and learning in order to create the Puck Schools reopening plan for 2020-21. Our reopening plan includes our student learning continuity and attendance plans in alignment with guidelines from Assembly Bill 77 and Senate Bill 98 in support of all students. We will regularly collect stakeholder feedback to further support our planning for all learners in the coming school year. Our upcoming school year will start Monday, August 17th, 2020, and will end Friday, June 4th, 2021. The academic school year will have two semesters, a fall semester, which will be a virtual semester, and a spring semester that will be further determined in response to the public health crisis as we progress through the current school year. Our reopening plan includes four quarterly markers throughout the upcoming school year, where we will continue to collect, reflect, and implement stakeholder feedback and multiple forms of data related to our fall virtual model in an effort to remain responsive to the needs of our school communities. We will follow the same process in the spring semester under the model for that semester to further support our desired school and student outcomes. This quarterly data collection and reflection process throughout Puck Schools is designed to allow each school site and our organization to remain responsive and adaptable to our communities by paying close attention to both public health and public education throughout the communities we serve and represent. Fall semester, all Puck Schools will be in a virtual model due to our public health data. Puck Schools is prepared to remain virtual for the entire school year if required and or recommended due to public health. If and when public health conditions were to permit this school year, Puck Schools is also prepared to pivot to a tiered hybrid model to further assist our learners through a combination of distance learning and in-person instruction. At Puck Schools, the fall semester will be virtual, implementing a full distance learning instructional model for the entire semester. Students will have course schedules that will meet the instructional minute requirements and instructional days set by the state. Students will have synchronous live teaching, standards-based instruction with inclusive virtual supports for all students, as well as our significant subgroups, i.e. special education, English language learners, homeless and foster youth, as well as our at-risk students. Technology use and free internet will be provided for students in need. Students will also have a common grade scale, resulting in a letter grade for each student per grade level span, i.e. elementary, middle, or high. At Puck Schools, we will continue to follow all governing state, county, and city guidelines and recommendations related to public health while incorporating our stakeholder feedback after each quarter to determine our Puck-wide response for the spring semester. Our reopening plan includes both a plan to remain virtual in the spring semester and our pivot into a tiered hybrid model in the spring as public health data and guidelines permit in our county and city. If our county and city restrictions are lifted based on decreased pandemic data, we would like to assure our Puck community that we will also be prepared to pivot into a tiered hybrid model for the second semester to further support our students. The plans for any in-person tiered hybrid model at any of our schools during the spring would only be determined after close consideration of our county and city's public health data and public health guidelines. We will further communicate our plans for the spring as we progress through the current school year, continue to monitor our county and city pandemic data this fall, and get closer to the second half of the school year. If and when it is safe to physically reopen our campuses, under the guidance of public health agencies this school year, we designed a model called the Puck Tiered Hybrid Model 
which is a combination of distance learning and tiered in-person instruction that will be adaptable per school in support of our students. The PUC tiered hybrid model would only be activated by PUC schools if and when it is safe for schools to physically reopen based on public health guidelines for in-person instruction. The PUC tiered hybrid model would only be activated for the spring semester if and only if our county meets eligibility criteria for in-person instruction. Under the PUC tiered hybrid model, each school will have a public health total capacity number not to exceed 50% of the total school population per day for the duration of the academic school year. This model, if and when activated by PUC schools, would allow each school to consistently and safely honor physical distancing guidelines set by the state and our county while being responsive to the unique and diverse student learning needs at each of our school sites. Our Health and Safety Task Force has worked and will continue to work extensively to ensure that each school site meets health and safety guidelines for any and all in-person instruction through the tiered hybrid model. The students invited for in-person instruction on any given day at a site would be based on the color tier percent and recommended by the school site, starting with our special education students, English language learners, homeless foster youth, at-risk students, and any other students based on the school's intervention tiers. If a parent of an invited student is not ready to send his or her child to school for in-person instruction, the school site will continue to accommodate by having his or her child learn through a virtual setting only. The color tiers will be used by each school site as a guide for in-person instruction under the tiered hybrid model, while all of the rest of the students will continue to engage in instruction virtually per day. The tiered hybrid model, which is a combination of distance learning and in-person instruction, will allow each school site to best meet the unique and diverse learning needs of our students. At Puck Schools, we are committed to our responsibility to public education in support of all of our students. We will continue to recognize our successes, challenges, and needed professional development, trainings, and learning to help ensure that as public educators, we too are learning and building the skills and professional relationships to best meet the needs of our students and families under a virtual model and or tiered hybrid model in the upcoming school year. We have been serving our communities for over 20 years at Puck Schools, powered by our communities and our relationships. In the coming year, we are equally committed to taking our long-standing relationships, traditions, celebrations at each of our school sites and creating virtual opportunities to remain connected with our stakeholders, to further embrace, celebrate, support, and uplift one another during the upcoming school year. At Puck Schools, we will be using the remaining weeks of summer to engage in professional development, trainings, and new learning to help all professionals in each of our school sites plan and prepare for a great upcoming school year. Our front offices and school administrators are available to you as needed this summer, Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. If you have specific needs for the coming school year as a family and or for your child, we highly encourage you, as always, feel free to reach out to our school administrators and or our front offices directly by calling the school or emailing them. Our schools look forward to further understanding, supporting, and connecting with you to best meet the needs of your child and family. Lastly, our school sites will be communicating their dates and times for virtual parent and student orientation meetings prior to the start of the school year to help everyone from our families, students, teachers, and staff transition to the new year and the upcoming virtual semester prepared for success. At Puck Schools, we offer mental health and wellness support to students, families, and staff at each of our school sites. In the coming year, we are looking forward to working with the needs of our stakeholders at each school site to further provide mental health supports, trauma-informed development, and wellness development 
to support the mental health and wellness of all of our stakeholders in the coming school year. We are committed to the health and safety of all of our stakeholders, particularly during this public health crisis. Our commitment to public health starts with our adherence and plans to ensure that our school sites honor all health and safety guidelines. If and when our schools would be allowed to reopen for in-person instruction this school year, under our tiered hybrid model, we would like to assure our community that our health and safety task force has worked and will continue to work extensively to ensure that each of our sites meets the health and safety guidelines provided by our state, county, and city. Our schools will be equipped with the necessary personal protective equipment and honor all health and safety guidelines for any and all in-person instruction under the tiered hybrid model. Each of the schools will have a health and safety plan focused on health guidelines, physical distancing, cleaning and disinfecting, and overall good hygiene practices for all. All schools will have ongoing trainings and development for teachers, leaders, staff, parents, and students on the importance of health and safety. Food services will continue for our students throughout the upcoming school year. Each school will communicate their school-specific food distribution plan to parents before the start of the school year. Technology and internet access are very important to the success of every student in the coming school year. Our schools will communicate both their technology checkout and internet access plan to further support our students and families in need. We would like to welcome you to visit our website and follow us on social media to remain connected to the latest updates, resources, and information to further support our connectedness during the upcoming school year. We look forward to being your continued partner in support of success. We especially would like you to remain connected to each of your school sites and expect to receive more information from your individual Puck school related to their parent-student orientations before the start of the school year to further support a strong virtual start for all. As we open the school year with distance learning, please know that we will reach out to you with a request to complete two important forms, the student video conferencing authorization form and the family income form. Please be on the lookout for more information and links to those forms. As we open the upcoming school year, we would like to pledge our commitment to our entire community in relation to the reopening plan of 2020-21. We would like to commit to continue to monitor the latest guidelines related to public health in support of our planning, response, and adaptability. We would like to commit to continue to gather stakeholder feedback throughout the year to understand and respond to the needs of our community. And lastly, we would like to commit to continue to research, learn, and adapt our plan based on the most current information before us in support of both public health and public education. We would like to close by thanking you for being our valued community members and for allowing your voice, feedback, and insights to help drive the Puck Reopening Plan of 2020-21. We will work together to ensure that we continue to grow in this coming year in support of our students. Our students, from our kindergartners to our 12th graders, are all counting on us, and they are the future change makers, leaders, and decision makers in order to best meet the needs of the world around us. They are our future, and we are excited to know where they will go beyond this pandemic to create a more inclusive, equitable, and just tomorrow for future generations.